Today uh, we are at our closing interview, uh, the end of uh, residency interview uh, with our most uh, current artisan resident. And, uh, and Fook, tell me how you pronounce your full name. Um, my name is Fook Lee. And uh, you are American, but you're, you're, uh, you were born? Yeah, I was born in Vietnam. And when I was seven, I moved to Orange County. And so, um, so your parents, uh, uh, they migrated after when the, when the Viet Cong took over? Is that what happened? Um, after the war, they tried a few times. Um, to come here? To come um, via boat to the Philippines. <laughs> and then from the Philippines, the Americans would fly them here. And the first few times they tried, it was unsuccessful. And um, in the late 80s, my dad just took my brother because uh, he thought it would be easier. And your brother is younger or older? Uh, my brother is older. He's 10 years older. And that attempt, they succeeded. Uh, my dad and my brother made it to the Philippines. They stayed in the Philippines for a year. And then the Americans flew them here. Right. So, uh, so you're well aware of the whole issue of migration. Yeah, yeah. I, f I feel like even though I didn't make that choice by myself or have made that journey by myself, yeah, I, I definitely lived it through my parents, through my family. So, um, what is this line that is going down here? Uh, it's a tattoo. And what does it signify? Uh, a few things. Uh, one major thing is um, to celebrate a time. And um, for a period of time, I was really depressed, like for five years. And then when I was in Berlin, I finally got healthy again. I felt like I was reborn and I just wanted to remember that time that I got healthy again. Mm -hmm. So it's a celebration, a time marker. Um, it's a marriage to myself. It's reminding myself that I'm ready to walk forward in life, knowing who I am, loving who I am. Um, so in coming and having uh, three months here at the Tom House, I mean, you live in the LA area, and so you uh, left wherever you were, and you came and s set up residency here for the last three months, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, what was your motivation for that? I I had first um, spoke with Stuart about the foundation, and I was. Good right there. Definitely. I was mentioning to Stuart how there was a hesitation to come into the Tama Finland Foundation space because I had known it to be such a masculine white male. Or you had perceived space. it to be. I had yeah, I had perceived it to yeah. be. And there was a hesitation to to come. Um, because I felt like maybe there wasn't a space for me you or be welcome yeah I felt like I probably wouldn't be welcome um, I mentioned to Stuart that I am interested or actually I came to visit I saw the garden and I fell in love with the garden there's magical energy there and then I, I got a tour of the house and I also felt great energy in the house um, so it's slammed up yeah, and, it, and at that time, I felt like some kind of energy was bringing me here. Um, I honestly felt like maybe even Tom's energy brought me here. Uh, and then I told Stuart I wanted to work on a project called Love Songs. And Love Songs would be a body of work that celebrates uh, and idolizes queer Asian guys. Um, because... That doesn't happen enough in the queer community. Love Songs by Fook Lee. Um, Love Songs is a photographic series that I made during my residency at the Tom of Finland Foundation. 
Um, this body of work focuses on idolizing and celebrating queer Asian guys through a romantic narrative. Um, it's also my personal journey in exploring desire, community, and self-love. Um, I dedicate it to all queer Asian Americans. I want us to be proud, be visible, uh, in loving ourselves and each other. So when people look back, they'll know that we were here and that we didn't get erased. Um, concerning gender, race, and sexuality, um, it's easy to feel invisible if your identity doesn't belong to a delineated group. Um, during my formative years, the absence of queer Asian representation in porn and pop culture contributed to a skewed sense of self-love and an inability to love a body and a narrative that reflected my own. Uh, love Songs is my effort to increase gay, queer, Asian American visibility. So was your response favorable from us? I mean, I'm not trying to do a PR thing, but but I remember when you brought it up, and I, I think that I, I told you that I thought it was a great, it was time. Yeah. It was really time. Um, at first, I think I felt hesitation, um, maybe because I was presenting previous work that I've made, and it wasn't very erotic. Or sensual. Um, <laughs> it could be sensual, but... <laughs> But uh, yeah. for sure it was... Uh, because, um, I guess, outside of this project, my work usually isn't very like explicit or erotic. And I, I'm very happy to have been given this permission to make erotic work because I think in the real world, like erotic work is looked at as something less. Yes. And I think once I've been given permission to make that, I jumped in, I explored it fully, and I thought about how to make an erotic image feel contemporary or feel uh, valuable, I guess. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's been a, it's been so a great it, experience. I mean, I'm really happy. I'm happy that you had that experience because that I mean, that's what the Tama Film Foundation is about, is about uh, how um, erotic art, in whatever expression it is, uh, it's more holistic. And, it, uh, and uh, I'm really jazzed that, uh, that you got that. I've had a great time spending time here at the Foundation. The project is very successful. I'm happy I came. I'm happy I made this work. Um, so many people came out and supported me, and I love, I love that. I'm, I'm so happy for that. Uh, thank you to the foundation for hosting me, welcoming me, and making me be a part of the community. And uh, thank you to Stuart Sanford, who has helped me tremendously with all my questions that I had. And thank you to my muses, um, Duke and Edmund, Frankie and Mikey, and hopefully more to come in the future. Um, thanks to all the performers, uh, Tyler Holmes, Moises Michel, Cody Putman, and my gym partner, Jameis, who was very pivotal in making this project sexy because he really uh, forced me to work out all the time and to be fit. So thank you to all those people.